we'll be starting the first series of O levels math, GCE O level math. And for that in that in this series we'll be starting off with the number system. We'll be covering today how people used to count in ancient times, what were the counting methods, then we'll touch base upon the current number system, why it's called decimal number system and then the place value. So let's begin. In ancient times, kids have you ever wondered when there were no numerals, the villagers had their stocks, <coughs> livestocks and the way they used to count it was through a matching principle. Let's see what actually it was. For instance, if anyone in those ancient times had three sheaves, oh, I'm not very good in drawing, but you'll have to bear with this, okay, fine. Suppose these are four sheaves, okay. The villagers used to, so suppose there are three sheaves, we have three, okay. Today we can count them as one, two, three, right? But in those times, there were no numbers and no numerals. People used to make pens. Exactly the same number as were the sheeps. And they used to match it with the matching principle. They had a rope tied to this sheep one with the pack one and sheep two with another one and sheep three yet with another one. These sheep, if they went for grazing into the pastures, when they used to return, the villagers would tie them up again with the number of pegs and match them. For instance, if any one of the sheep was missing, then a peg would be empty. Okay? There, there wouldn't be any rope tied to it. So that was the way they could figure out as to one sheep is missing. Then, when there were like many other villagers and there were the livestock was like uh, it, is, it just kept on increasing, then they used to make use of signs as well. For instance, this peg was had some kind of a sign, maybe a cross, and the other also had a cross. The, the, the livestock also had a cross. So then they used to, you know, match the crosses and they would come to know that this belongs to a certain party or certain person. Okay. But now, today, we have the current number system, which is called, we have covered this, how they used to do. They used to do it with the matching principle. That was the only technique used at that time. Now, the current number system. What we are following these days is called Hindu Arabic numeration. Let me write it. Today, the number system that we are following is Hindu Arabic numeration. Right? Okay. These days, as you all are aware of, we have 10 symbols, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you count them, there are 10 symbols that we use in Hindu Arabic numeration system. Now, this will answer the question why it's called decimal number system. In Latin, decim stands for 10. And as I have told you, there are 10 symbols. So, this number system is decimal number system or a number system with a base 10, right? Okay, we 
have covered the current number system and we have covered why it's called a decimal number system. Now, the very important concept of place value. With a place value, any, any number that you can imagine can be written with this decimal number system. For instance, if we take 3492, right? This is how we write it. Now, let me make a place value chart for you. Goes like this. Here we have ones, then we have tens, we have hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Let me change the marker. Okay. Now, if we have to write using this place value chart 3492 we will write 3 just beneath thousands 3000 and 4 under this box of hundreds 4 3400 and 92 right and if you notice here in this place value chart Every the, the place value of every digit, for instance, if we take 3, is 10 times the place value of the, of the digit very next on the right. 3 is 10 times the place value of this digit 4, 10 times. 4 is the place value of 4 is 10 times is 10 times the value of the place value of 9 and the, the number 9 the digit 9 is again 10 times the place value of the digit 2 which is on the right <clears throat> in other words if we look at it this is 3 thousands 3 thousands Four hundreds and ninety two. So this makes if we, if we add it up, for instance, three thousand four hundred ninety two, we are going to end up with this number, which is three thousand four hundred and ninety two. So the concept is very important and this is and by this we have covered the place value chart. In the next session we will be discussing the types of numbers. So this is the end of the first session and in the next session we will be covering how many types of numbers are there. Thank you.